Okay, so here's what I want to bring you on the second part during that conversation with uh, McNeely versus Shepard Mullen. Now, talking to Melanie in that uh, conversation, uh, we got to the contract part, and everybody knows that a contract is not binding up on you unless you sign it. Okay, so when um, I asked her a question, which, uh, uh, how's the uh, contract is binding up on me? And she, you listen, listen closely, because she says that, she says, it is not a contract. Now, this is a lie she tells, because when you look at personal leave of absence, under Title 22, it specifically says, um, state unemployment, uh, EDD says that it is a contract and it has to be mutually agreed between the employer and the employee. So listen to this uh, right here. So here we go. What grounds is that document, the personal leave of absence, is binding upon me? It's not a contract, it's not binding. It's got contract language in it, ma'am. It's got contract language in it, ma'am. And um, it was because of the date that was placed on there is when the uh, employer decided to uh, cancel my uh, contract with them or my uh, application with them based on that date that was placed on the personal leave of absence. It's not a contract, it's not binding. It's got contract language in it, ma'am. And um, it was because of the date that was placed on there is when the uh, employer decided to uh, cancel my uh, contract with them or my uh, application with them based on that date that was placed on the personal leave of absence. If I recall correctly, you were terminated because you failed to return to work. And that document was just another document that you refused to sign. Yeah. 